This is not your usual search and shop video. Roll intro. The world is in a pretty rough spot and some people will do pretty much anything to earn a quick buck. That includes scamming people. And scammers these days, well, they're getting pretty creative. They're no longer just masquerading as Nigerian princes looking for somewhere to store their money. Now they're also court people who are trying to get you to pay your summons. But while most of this can be avoided by simply having a little bit of common sense when you answer phone calls from people you don't know, some scams, they're unavoidable. Well, not unless you have the right tools. Unfortunately for me, I drive a seven-year-old Myvi and that does not come with any kind of camera or onboard system to protect me from such brave scammers. Thankfully, 11th Street has just the solution for me. This is a dash cam that they sent to me and I'm going to show you how to install it on a MyV. But before that, let's take a look at what we get in the box. So if you pop the hood, you'll see you will get the dash cam slash mirror combo. Besides that, you've also got a cable and two rubber straps to strap your mirror to your existing mirror. Besides that, you also get a reverse camera. Then you also have this. And finally, you've got some sticky stuff to stick the cameras and a USB cigarette power source thing. And that's it. That's all you have in the box. So obviously, if you want to record stuff with this, you will also need a SD card, which we have somewhere in the office. We'll get to that in a bit. But now it's time for the good part. Now it's time for the juicy part. The time for the part where I show you how to install this on a MyBee. So, you join us in a parking lot in an undisclosed location in Pataling Jaya, where I will attempt to install the Yi mirror dash cam on my car successfully. So, I will admit that I am not a professional mechanic, nor do I have any special tools beyond these 10 beautiful digits. But, I do have a list of things that I have to write on this napkin from a YouTube video that I watched five minutes ago. So we're gonna follow it step by step and uh, get ourselves a dash cam installed. Let's begin. First, we need the dash cam. Ta -ta -ta -ta. Step one, attach the mirror. So the first thing you need to do is get the mirror dash cam out of the box. Second thing you need is the rubber straps. Strap number one, strap number two. So the rest of it you want to put aside because you need it for later. You need to pull out these tabs from the back of the dash cam so you can attach your rubber straps. Okay, so this camera array goes onto your mirror like so and then you strap it at the back with these rubber tabs. So a useful tip would be to attach your rubber taps beforehand so that you can do that. Centered, that's pretty important. And hook it over. Step two, grab this cable from your box. The one with the mini USB and the USB type A. Then you need to attach this to the back of your mirror. There is a port that you need to find. Now comes the hardest part where you actually have to route the cable. So the easiest way to do so, according to the YouTube video, is to have it come up here, through here, down through this pillar, and out into your footwell. So the problem is with new cars, especially if you've never done this before, this piece can be really hard to remove. So on a MyV, you need to pull out the rubber piece just like that. It should just pop out as a piece. Then all you need to do with the cable is push, tuck it into the lining of your ceiling. Go down this way, grab the other end of the cable 
and then just put it in here. So it should go right through. This is impossible. Ah! ah. And it should come through just like that. Very easy. And then, once it's through, you want to tuck it up so you can just pop this whole thing back on. And it's done! Let's take this rubber back in to place. Oh god, that's not what it's supposed to do. Ah, there you go, good as new. So now this part, you're gonna want to get like some zip ties or cable ties and get them out of the way of your feet because you don't want them tangling up. Just let this hang out over here for a while. I'll, I'll deal with that later. On to the next step. So the next step, you need this. This thing that came in the box, you need that. You need to plug this into that. And then, remove your cigarette lighter thing and stick it in. And once you turn on the engine, your camera will have power. Now it's time to attach the rear camera. So you need to grab this bag of cables and this rear camera. It may look like a lot of cables, but you don't have to worry because it's actually just one really long cable and a slightly slimmer cable. So this end, as you can see, it looks like a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. This goes into the camera, the part right about here. And then this end goes into this guy, like that. But we're not going to stick it in just yet because we need to route this baby all the way to the back. So uh, there are two ways of doing this. Number one is to have them come over here and go down to the footwell, then across from the bottom. But I don't like that. So I'm going to do from here and going across here and into the back. So here's how you do that. Number one, you're going to need to do like what you did with the first cable, which is sort of just tuck everything into the roof lining. Ah! Ooh. Okay, and then you're gonna need to pull the rest of this out. Stuff all that in there to meet it, being very careful. And then have it route to the back. Okay, so then you're gonna run route over this way. Come in through here. If you wanna come in closer, you can see this part. So you're just gonna tuck it in to that part. Oh, I did it. Now we stick it in. Ah, there you go. It's like nothing happened. And then now we move to the back. You just want to pull this through here. Push that part up. And lift and tuck. Until you reach this corner. Where you do more of what you did with the B pillar. Only now with this final pillar. So you're going to want to tuck it all the way in. And just, just leave it chilling there for a while while you sort this side out. Now, and do more tucking here. So this part, the rubber seal is a little different because it covers the outside. So you're going to want to be very gentle when you lift it up. Ooh, it's a bit disgusting. Just sort of have it sit here, just under the seal. You should end up with just one nice cable coming out the middle. Which is where we move on to the next step. I just realized, what do I do with the extra cable? <laughs> so, so actually, if you were uh, doing this properly, you notice that there's another like really skinny cable here. So this one is supposed to attach to the back, which is uh, attached to your rear reverse light, so that whenever you switch into your reverse light, the camera will know how to switch to this one, so you get sort of like the reverse camera feel. But I'm not going to do that because that requires sort of wiring and bolts to unscrew and I would also recommend that you go to a shop to do it unless you're like some electrical genius. So right now I need to worry about these cables. Okay. Masking tape solves everything guys. So now <laughs> you want to stick this in into this hole here. Make sure you be very careful because the pins are very fragile so you want to line up the little notch with the little lump in the middle. It's like, whoop. And there you go. Next step. 
So the next step is to actually stick this onto your car. So where you stick it uh, may vary, but Yi includes this in the box, which is like some really sticky double-sided tape, I think, and uh, some screws. So you can choose to screw it in or just tape it on. But since we only have one piece of tape, a good way, as uh, Anip suggested, to sort of mark where you're about to put this is to use some double-sided tape and then just give it a little stickeroo. And then we can close it to see if it works. Yeah, there you go. That's where it's supposed to be. <laughs> We've got this off. We're going to stick this there. Follow the shape and just make sure. Yeah, that looks about right. And then you peel it off. So you just want to put it like right about there. Ah. Press it down. Hope it is straight that it doesn't fall off. Now for the final step, testing. Okay, if we follow my notes, the final test is to calibrate it. So if we did everything right, it should work. So uh, fingers crossed. There you go, ah, press OK, OK, formatting your SD card, boom, there you go, now it's recording, can you see, the timer there indicates that it's recording, so keep recording and replacing footage, but if you don't want it to replace footage, like I said, there's an accident and there's a clip that you want to save, all you need to do is hit emergency and then it will save like a fixed time in the past so that you can save that file to make your viral video. Okay, so... So you can see there are two tiny little screws here that you can tighten so you can actually secure it to sort of point whichever way that you want. So if you want it to be further down, you can do so. If you want it to be slightly further up, you can do so too. So you just need a really small screwdriver. Pick the corresponding Phillips head, adjust it. Right, now let's test it out. So you have the rear camera, you have the front camera, you have the P picture in picture and there you have it everything you need all wrapped up in one there's only one thing left to do give it a test drive let's go okay okay so now I'm going for a little test drive around the neighborhood back to the office uh, and it seems to be working well the field of view is okay despite my initial concerns about it being too Hi, it still looks okay. It sees what I see out the window. So, I don't think it's gonna be much of an issue. Also, I think the nicest bonus for this is that I get like a huge rear view mirror now. Like my old one was like this big. And now I get to see, I can even see out that window, which is like freaking awesome, dude. Uh, it, the screen isn't always on, so it will be on for a while until you don't touch it. And then it will turn off. Uh, I think being able to see this stem is kind of annoying uh, but it's not a big deal breaker for me uh, so you see as you can see now it's off so it's just like a normal sort of rear view mirror uh, which is perfectly fine which is exactly what you need when you're driving uh, and then if you need it to work just need to tap that just need to tap it and the screen comes on and if you need to back up you can flip over, you can see the back. So you can have the picture in picture and you're good to go. Uh, the only issue is the uh, bit of cable management, which is like, I mean, if you came prepared, you would know. But uh, our duct tape solution is not final. Oh, sorry, our masking tape solution is not final. I'm gonna zip tie that thing up and it'll look nice and neat. Uh, or do you have any other suggestions for what kind of setup I should use let me know in the comments below and uh, yeah that's it that's it for this installation video thank you guys so much for watching back to the studio and that's it easy as pie <laughs> I hope you learned something and if you want more detailed instructions you can head to the link that will be in the video description to a post where I write that all down but that's not the end of this video because thanks to 11th Street we actually have another Yi dash cam to give away. This is it. It is still brand new, nicely shrink wrapped, 
and it also comes with a 64 gig micro SD card. So if you want to win this, it's very simple. All you need to do is leave a comment in the video description telling us why you need this dash cam in the most creative way possible. And the best one will win. So this contest will run for two weeks. And at the end of that, we will pick one winner who will walk away with a brand new Yi mirror dash cam. And that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked it. If you did, be sure to leave a like below. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and uh, click on the notification bell icon so that you'll be notified whenever we post a brand new video. Also, like us on Facebook and keep your browser locked to searchinshaw.com for the most refreshing slices of tech news. All right, I'm Rory. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.